But tell me why you are undeterred by this call. Scott, good to see you on overtime. Um, you know, I woke up this morning, I saw the downgrade, and I kind of slapped my forehead because I think what the analyst community is doing right now is they're looking for anything that's still standing and whacking it. What, what I mean by that is if you look at the last three months and, and the downturn to new lows that we've seen in the market overall, General Motors is, and I'm focused on General Motors because I own it, but it's hung in there really nice. It's flat over the last three months while the market is down about 7%. So the analysts are coming for it. And they're saying a recession is coming. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I mean, the labor market's strong right now, and that means that there's demand for cars that to date has not been met by production. As production picks up, we should expect prices to come down, but that should be made up for by the volume. And at less than six times earnings, at 80% of book value, with a heck of a lot of good things going on with the autonomous vehicle uh, unit, crews, uh, Bright Drop, the other electric vehicle programs, I don't think this is a time to sell, sell General Motors. I think you're supposed to step into it here. Well, I mean, they don't suggest sell it. They just say it's neutral, right? Don't buy it. Just sit tight and let's see how it all plays out. Why would you want to buy the stock here, uh, given some of the risks that exist? Quote, the overall sector outlook for 2023 is deteriorating so fast, they say, that demand destruction seems inevitable at a time when supply is improving. So this isn't the sky is falling. Get out of it. It's just sit back and let's see how this all plays out. Yeah, I think I, I think I may be responding to the fact that it was down at one point uh, almost 7 percent today. So that kind of felt a little bit a uh, little bit ugly. But, you know, to your point and to your question, I think there is a debate obviously going on about when a recession will hit. How bad will that recession be if it does hit? And what my sole point is here is if you look out six months from now, the economy is likely to be through. Maybe it's 12 months based on what Jamie Dimon says. The economy is likely to be through whatever it's going to go through. And to the point that several of us are making uh, in commentating, the market is soon going to sniff out that the Fed can only go so far. The market is getting poised for a spring. Uh, and you want to be in a stock like General Motors when that happens. Again, below six, per, uh, six times earnings, uh, now has its dividend reinstated, below 80 percent book value. This is, this is really a good time to own it in anticipation I mean, of what's not right. long away. You're not, you're not suggesting a shallow uh, recession, then. If you think six months from now, we're going to be, in your words, through it, um, that's like a baby pool. You, 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 can, you are properly surmising what my viewpoint is. And I know you and I have had some good conversations, some robust discussion about this. I still look at where the economy is, 2.9% Atlanta Fed GDP in the third quarter. I know that's backwards looking. I know that's backwards looking. I know the Fed wants to whack that, and they will. But my point is there's a lot of economic activity still yet to come, whether it's jobs, which are still strong, ISM surveys. There's a lot of strength in this economy. By the way, by the way, Scott, you know, there is a lot of CapEx to come. And that is going to depend on, that's going to rely on pickups being sold, which are the highest margin products that these companies sell. I, I just don't see the doom that everybody else sees coming out.